Good morning, everybody. My name is Vivian McCool, and I'm a third year medical student in the United States. Come along with me for this week of shenanigans. So guys, I just made myself a cup of coffee. I am about to sit down and just sip this and take a slow morning, plan out what I wanna do for the rest of the day. I thought I was gonna have to be in the hospital at eight, but my attending told me to meet her at nine. So Monday morning when we will take it. Hey guys, I just made it back home from the hospital. It's academic half day, so it's like 12.20 right now. Got myself some food and I'm about to eat that and then head to the other hospital for academic half day. God, literally, why? Why are you so cute, huh? Hello guys, I'm back home. I'm in my comfy clothes. I'm hanging out with Lil Noodle. And I just got off the phone with an M4 who is declaring the same specialty as me because our fourth year schedules came out and I'm like so confused about what any of this means. Yeah, so I just talked to her and she kind of helped me like navigate this website that is so confusing and hard to understand for no reason. I'm just gonna put a pause on this for now and I think Lil Rocco and I are gonna take a nap. You wanna go to night? When I get up, I think I'll do some studying and maybe take him to the P-A-R-K and continue on with our day. All right, let's take a nap. Hello everybody. I just woke up from a two hour nap. Feels glorious. I know normal people don't share information like this, but I do it every month anyway. So I started my period today and the first decision I made upon waking up from nap is that I will be eating ice cream and cake for dinner. And I'm very excited. I'm eating chocolate now on my walk with Rocco. I just finished Reese's. Whew, I'm so smart. Okay, let's go on this walk. Hi guys, I'm actually sad to report that I did not get dessert. It's not too late, I might still go, but I just wish I had like a wife or something to go get me something or make me something. I have my roommate who is not allowed to drive. So instead I ate some meal prep for dinner tonight, which was like healthy and whatever, but boring. Now I'm reading up on stroke and uh, just chilling inside. So, yeah. guys so i took rocks to play with his friend and um it was so cute they haven't played with each other in a little while because that's the friend who he got injured with so me and his like me and his friend's dad were like kind of paranoid and we're like what do like parents do when they get hurt they just like let them go back into the world like i don't understand that was fun and i just came back from public and i got myself some sweet treats i'm about to watch some tv i've done barely any studying today but i'm about to eat some ice cream watch tv maybe eat some cake and just girly things good morning everybody it's tuesday a little past eight in the morning just took rocks on a little walk and poured myself a cup of coffee Kinda tired, I gotta head out in like 20 minutes. I'm gonna try to read the rest of this thing about stroke before I go in, cause I think we're gonna talk about it today. I'm leaving my lunch break now, headed back to the hospital. Uh, not feeling so hot.
Hello, everybody. I left the hospital. I'm free. I'm a free bitch, baby. You can see my glasses indentation. I like to play this game when I'm driving sometimes. If there's like a line of cars stopped at a light or like whatever, I'll see who is driving each car. I just drove by a light where like everyone was a woman except for like one guy like towards the end. And I just think that's beautiful because then I think about places in other parts of the world where like women's rights aren't a thing and like women are like just not getting the right to like drive. And I'm like, oh. You know, we're just girls here, like, running the entire country. It's beautiful. Best country in the world. Anyway, um, gonna go inside and eat ice cream now. Hello, everybody. Rocco and I just went to Forsyth and walked around. I love that park. It has, like, a pretty fountain and stuff. Now we're both eating dinner. I'm also gonna throw on some Abbott Elementary. Act like I'm not a medical student, I guess. I have a couple of friends coming over in an hour and not one ounce of studying has been done. It's fine, I'm fine, everything's fine. I'm stressed, but like also I don't wanna study. Hi guys. So after last chit chat in Mithya, I had a bowl of ice cream with two pieces of cake in it. It was delicious, like no regrets. And then I went to the dog park and invited some of my neighbors. It would turn into like a puppy party, super fun. Anyway, it's almost 10 p.m. So after this, I'm gonna go to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday morning. It's 8.42 and I'm still parked because my steering wheel is not working. It is not turning. It tells me to check my power steering. So I'm calling an Uber to get me. I wanna cry. Such is life, right? I hope your day's going better than mine. guys so i'm back home i've been home for maybe like an hour or two now cuddled with rocco in bed just got myself some tiramisu from the fridge and i'm gonna do some year old practice questions before returning to abbott elementary i tried taking a nap but like i just couldn't okay so instead of recording myself <laughs> instead of recording myself doing questions from like here and like you guys seeing whatever's going on i thought it might be fun to do a practice question together okay so first i look at the question and then the answer choices so what following features would be most likely found on ct the reason i read this part first is so i can frame what i'm looking for in the question so he's five he's in the ed he's confused and he's weak He's with his mom on a shopping trip two hours ago when he developed severe headache and vomiting. Okay. Took him home, allowed him to rest. 30 minutes ago, he was super drowsy and couldn't move the left side of his body. Wasn't sick, doesn't take meds, no history of this. Um, slightly kind of hypertensive, especially for like a five-year-old. He's somnolent, withdraws from painful stimuli, so I'm, I'm seeing red flags here. There are a few telangiectasias along the lips and tongue. Okay, so now I'm thinking like a syndrome type thing. Cardiopulmonary exam, unremarkable, abdomen soft, normal bowel sounds. What would we see on CT? So because he has telangiectasias, for some reason I'm thinking he might have like venous malformation things that might have like ruptured. This I'm thinking no, cause that sounds like trauma. Okay, and also he can't move the left side of his body. So I'm gonna be thinking right side of his brain. Hyperdense fluid collect, okay, so this is CT. So I'm thinking bleed. So hyperdense something, yeah. Hypo attenuation with edema, I'm thinking not so much. Mass within this, that gives cancer and I'm not thinking it's cancer. Patchy areas of hypodensity. For some reason, I'm thinking this has to do with a bleeding. So I'm gonna go with this. Oh, and we're right. Okay, so it's a hemorrhagic stroke in kids. It is a vascular malformation, arteriovenous malformation. So this part says he actually has a history of hereditary hemorrhagic to HHT, which I've never heard of, but I like read that wrong. So I'm gonna finish reading the rest of this question explanation and then move on to the next few. 
but I, I don't know. I felt like that was kind of fun doing a practice question together. Hey guys, I just made myself a little dinner, nacho kind of thing with beef and cheese and stuff. And I'm about to turn on Abbott Elementary, so I am a happy girl right now. It's a few hours later, we came back from our walk and I spent time with some friends that I love. And my friend neighbor came and fixed my power steering. God bless that man. Have you ever seen anything so cute? Like what? Why are you so cute like this? You know when you see a cute animal and you just wanna s Good night guys. It is Thursday now. It's just shy of 8 a.m. I gotta be at the hospital in about 30 minutes. I just made myself some coffee and oatmeal. This morning I took rocks for a little walk outside. It is freezing out there. I think Alexa said it was like 45 degrees or something, 46 degrees. Girl, no. I'm at the hospital um, seeing patients. I just saw my first comatose neuro exam and I'm on the way to see another patient who is coming in with a stroke with history of multiple strokes. So, yeah. Hello besties, I am leaving. It's not really all that late, I'm just tired. This attending has me like working, it's really good. I'm like learning a lot, I'm just like exhausted because my brain is like working girl. Oh my God. Fuck, tomorrow's Friday y'all, that's all I gotta say. Hey guys, I just took my little noodly boy to the park. It was really fun, but whoa, my head hurts really bad right now. I don't know why, but I'm gonna um, make myself dinner and hope it goes away. Hello everybody. It is actually just shy of 7.30. I have Miss Willa in the back with me. Say hi, Willa. Oh, sweetness. I made it in good time. I'm about to head inside. It's Friday. I'm like so grateful it is the end of the week. I'm so grateful my school, this campus, does not make us work on weekends. I left the hospital and went straight to the gym and um, now I'm at the animal lodge place picking up my neighbor's dog. Maybe I'll let her and Rocco play. And let Rocco run around. Best friends going to the park. Hi guys. It's actually a couple weeks later. The little gear up sound freaked him out. So that's that for this vlog. I totally forgot to do an outro. So this is me. 10 days later doing an outro. I hope y'all are doing well and thriving and healthy and enjoy this week. Okay, I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.